the season is drawing to a close and we maybe could get Champions League football with only four games to go. Can we do it in our second season in the Premier League? <laughs> Let's see. Hello all, Mike Runch here. Welcome to another episode of my FM19 Aston Villa save. Before we get into any of the actual gameplay and where we are on the table, quick look at the ball confidence. I am untouchable. I am bringing joy to every face on support. Uh, that was the worst bit of English ever. A smile on the face of every single supporter and long may it last. Indeed, you can see why the board are so happy with me. We are currently up in third with a game in hand on all of our top for rivals except for Chelsea who we will be playing in today's episode. So there has been a little bit of a change to the schedule that I originally had planned. I'll quickly run you through it. As you can see here since the last time that we met which is our 3-1 defeat in the Carabao Cup final to Liverpool. Four straight wins. Everton, Cardiff, West Ham and Leeds all dispatched by the Villa. Uh, until we came at home to Derby rivals West Brom and it was a typical Derby game. Scrappy not great football and West Brom won it 2-1 at Villa Park which is a bit of a gutting statement. But we bounced back nicely and beat uh, rivals Tottenham 3-2, which is very important. They That kind of knocked them out of the top four and European race. But then we followed it up again with a 2-0 home shock defeat to Norwich, which was very disappointing. And I don't want to say that we're struggling, but you can tell that maybe the classic micromunch um, kind of lull towards the end of the season has kicked in. A little bit of inconsistency falling in. Today we've got two away games, big ones as well. Leicester away in 11th, which is probably our best chance of getting three points today. And then we have the big one. Chelsea away at Stamford Bridge. When you look at the table again, you can see here that they are fifth, only one point behind us. And we're on the same amount of games. The big loss and big team news today is that Moussa Diaby has been in hot form recently. He is injured for another two weeks, so he probably will come back in for the season finale. But he's been absolutely sensational in his last few games. As you can tell, it an average rating of 7.9, five goals in his last five games. The boy has been absolutely on fire so far this season. So, with Diaby out, it's Kalinic in goal, Earl Sacco, Mike and Christensen at the back. Harry Winks partners Leon Goretzka in the middle of the part today, as John McGinn hasn't been playing up to his usual standards. And Origi, Maria and Gaitan are in behind Jack Lancaster. Robert Navarro has been dropped to the bench for the time being while Pelé and Maria is in a good little vein of form. Um, but then they're going to be kind of switching around a bit. The one I need to watch out for is poor old Josh Earl. He's been in the wars recently with uh, fitness issues and injuries. I'm going to risk him a little bit today. See if we can just nurse him through to half time and then we'll swap it around. But I need him fit. Right, away we go in what is possibly one of the bigger episodes of the series so far. In terms of continental qualification, I think we're probably going to make the Europa League. Um, actually, I think that's almost like guaranteed because, yeah, it is. we are going to have Europa League football next year. It's whether we can get into the Champions League. Lorente now plays a nice ball to James on the right wing and he's having a very good game as Rodrigo's there and he heads it just wide. Nothing from the Villa so far. And I'm wondering maybe if I do need to bring on Navarro. The problem I've got in while we're being so uncreative is because we've got lots of the ball, but we're just obviously letting Leicester sit back and move it around there. And we're just opening up for the counter-attack then, which is what we want to be doing. As they're the home team, you kind of want them to be coming out, but it's quite difficult when they've got 4-1-4-1 four, one, four, one going on. I'm going to get aggressive with the ball, so I'm not happy with your performance out there. And I'm wondering if it's maybe time for a change. Because I made a bit of a change at half-time. What I've done is I've actually brought on Robert Navarro, and he's going to go and sit in the hole here in behind Jack Lancaster on the attacking playmaker role on attack with Maria moving out to the left and Divock Origi is going out to the right as a wide target man not something I've often played but I want to give it a go we need to try something a little bit different here Gaitan's like really good statistically but he just hasn't kicked on I don't think he's actually has he actually provided anything this year he's got one goal in a non-competitive game other than that he's literally created and scored nothing which is not what I wanted I, yeah I know that he's young and he's going to get better but I did expect a little bit more okay and we're really changing up now it's a 4-2-2-2 two, two, two. so we're going to get the whip from the fullbacks and we're going to have obviously hopefully Harry Wicks dropping in to defend with Sakamai they've not offered anything going forward particularly Leicester like they for all the shots they've had we've only seen what is it maybe two highlights and neither of them was particularly that threatening apart from the corner but that can happen at any point here we go a highlight is it for Villa Kalinic plays the ball short to Lucas Mai who moves forward my great ball over the top looking for Jack this is what I mean this is why you can't take him off he's such a threat that's such a poor ball though there wasn't even anyone in the middle to aim for it's an aimless cross and not his best bit of work Rodrigo's definitely going to have the pace to get through here great save by Kalinic we are we've been awful today just awful and a lot is going to come down to this Chelsea game I think a lot of it is going to come down to how we do against Chelsea another highlight though as we enter the last 10 minutes 
Christensen made a good tackle, but it's not been enough. Torres now on the outside of the box. He's been trapped by Earl. Player Mirid just hits it right back out to him. It's a poor clearance. It's gone over that of Rodrigo, thankfully. Into Centel's. Good ball in. Torres at the back post. Great save by Kalinic. Great block by Earl. We are clinging on here. We are clinging on. Less than five minutes to go, plus injury time. And it's been a good defensive performance from us. But going forward, it's been absolutely horrific. This has been an absolute mare. And yeah, Centel's missed the last chance of the game, thank God. I was a bit worried there, but I can't believe it. I can't believe we haven't not even turned up. I think I will try and keep morale high, but yeah, I'm going to say to the defence, I was impressed with your solid defending, and I'm going to get annoyed with the attackers, disappointed with the quality of your finishing, and then disappointed with the efforts to control the midfield to the midfielders, because the defence deserve credit, but the rest of the team, horrific. And Chelsea have a game in hand over us now, so they can overtake us even without winning or beating us. So now the game against them becomes absolutely crucial if we are to try and get Champions League football. All right, here's the big one then. Stamford Bridge, Chelsea fifth against Aston Villa in third. We have no doubt been the surprise package of the season. But is it going to be enough to get Champions League football? I don't think we're going to make it personally, but this game can go a long way to deciding it. The record is stacked in Chelsea's favour. They've won three and drawn once, uh, and we won one in the five times that we have met. So yeah, I am keeping it defensive. Kalinic is in goal. Earl, Sacco, Mai and Christensen retain their places. But now Jesus Vallejo drops in. So we have a flat five at the back. Uh, Harry Winks and Goretzka still maintain their position in midfield. With Origi on the left. Uh, Gaitan on the right. And Lancaster up front on his own. I feel like this is the best way to try and win the game. I have to try and pack that defence. And just try and keep Eden Hazard quiet. We've already been through how much he annoys me on this game. He's not playing. Yes, he is not playing. No Hazard. He's not even in the squad. Superb. This is the best. Maybe I didn't need to go five at the back. We will see. Who's this boy then? Oh my word. Oh, the Wonder Kids everywhere. Chatfield looks banging as well. Look at this. I told the boys we need to avenge ourselves passionately. And they liked that. Just setting the opposition instructions. This is a big game. Come on, boys. We can do this. A minute in, Chelsea hit it long. Sacco, lovely headed down to Jesus Ville. I'm hoping for a bit more control from the back. And we're going to be doing a lot more countering today. I think that's got to be the plan. Vallejo back to Kalinic. Good play from us here. Nice and keeping the crowd quiet, sucking the tempo out. Good take by Gaitan there. Nice ball back to Mai, into Christensen. We, we're the ones knocking the ball around with a bit of confidence here. Great ball over the top by Harry Winks. Jack Lancaster take one touch. Oh, of course he scored. What a goal by Jack Lancaster. Oh, no. The rest going to review it to see if it was offside. Oh, I thought it was in. Don't do this to me. I think it's in. Christensen to Winks. This is some ball. He's definitely onside. The left back's playing him on. A brilliant finish by Jack Lankis. He was poor in the last game, but he is back. And that is a superb finish. And Harry Winks, that pass is nothing short of sensational. We'll see it here. He is miles on. Miles on. Gretchen Villa. We were knocking the ball around with style there and just out of nowhere launched an attack. I love it. I praise the boys for their performance so far and it's getting a big firing up apart from uh, Leon who's looking a little bit overwhelmed. Calm down mate, it's okay. It's praise, it's good. Could this be a tactical masterclass from yours truly? I'm glad that I I put five at the back and I know actually that they've gone 4-4-2. Four, four, Gaitan over a corner, whips it in, Higuain heads it clear, Kante nods it on. Lucas Mai's going to get there first. He's been by far our best defender again this year. Looks real Premier League quality, apart from that pass, which was awful. Mai into Winks. We're dominating it in terms of the highlights at the moment. Great ball over the top by Winksy. We just keep getting him around the back. Gaitan, that's got to be a penalty. It looks like it's a penalty. The rest blowing the whistle. Another VAR decision. Oh, and Lascelles has pushed Lancaster for a 2-0 lead. Come on, Jack. Lancaster. Oh, he sends the keeper the wrong way. <laughs> we might be getting the Champions League. These are the champions. The champions. Da, 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 da. I'm so sorry to any headphone users there. Or any of you in general. Well, half time's nearly upon us. And it has been an absolute masterclass from the villa. Even if I do say so myself. A tuna weed. I'm looking at playing Maria there. I don't know why. By the way, Jack Lancaster is on 25 goals for the season at the moment as well. And he's in with another chance of the golden boot again. Chelsea have had like, probably the better of it statistically, but we've been the better team. And I'm going to certainly say to the boys, I'm very happy with the way that that has gone. It's just been 
Jesus Vallejo has made the difference there at the back. I love it. They've even had to take Sancho off and they've moved Willian out to the right. Now he's injured. It's all gone wrong for Chelsea. It's all gone wrong for Chelsea. Going to take off Divock Origi, bringing on Paleo Maria. I'm sniffing a bit of blood here. Third one is maybe on the cards. They haven't done anything in the second half to make me think that they're going to get back into this game. And we have been nothing short of sensational today. Jorginho, Goretzka starting the press now against the cells. And he hits an aimless ball forward. Kalinic picks it up. And that that is just sums up Chelsea today. Not a lot really going forward. But oh, no, Mamadou, Gillo. What a save by Kalinic. Not brilliant by Mamadou Sacco there. Harry Winks has been magic, but I'm going to take him off, and on comes John McGinn, and I'm also going to take off, oh, I can't take Jack Lancaster off, he's on for a hat-trick, so we'll keep him on. <laughs> One last change, Santiago Gaitan has had a much better day today, but I'm going to take him off, and on comes Robert, who um, hasn't really played as much as I'd hope he would this season, I'm hoping that next year he'll be a bit more in, involved in the squad, he's made improvements, he's just not quite ready for the first team football yet, but he's too good to send out on loan. Tonali on the ball. That's a nice part to as per the Quetu. Just feels like he just hasn't aged at all. And Gillo, oh my god, it's 2 1. Great ball by as per the Quetu. And it's Gillo's 16th goal of the season. It's a damn good effort as well. Brilliant ball out here by Tonali. That is a sensational pass. As per great control. Whips in on his right foot. That is an unbelievable cross. Come on, boys. Come on. Even a draw is not awful, but a win is massive in the context of getting Champions League football. It keeps us five points ahead of them. And even though they have a game, they've injured one of their players, it might be down to ten men for the rest of the game. Josh Elwip's in. That's not a great ball, and Kepa's claimed it. We're still all right here at the back. We've still got a three around there, two strikers, but I'm, I'm slightly worried now. Maria, here we go. I can sense a bit of a chance coming in. Goretzka to Jack. He's got the overlap if he needs it. He's found Robert instead. robert has got the pace and the, uh, the trickery to get around this place, but he's not done it. Christensen. Great ball whipped into the back post. Play Maria! It's three! You can't stop the Villa. It's only his seventh goal of the season, but he's racked up a shed load of assists. And yes, Villa, get in. Maybe, just maybe, Champions League. The Champions! Da, 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 da. Great volley from Play Maria. I'm getting used to seeing it. Oh, give it that. He's giving it salt. I love that gift, by the way. The salt gift never gets old. It's because I get sent it a lot. I have to learn to like it. Can you imagine me ever being salty after a defeat? Good ball over the top for Jack Lancaster. But it doesn't matter. It's over. Villa get the three points. A change of formation has thrown Chelsea completely. Genius. I'm going to passionately say that was really special. As no one gave us a chance of winning, but we've done it. Jack Lancaster putting in another man of the match performance in one of the big games. And it's just, yeah, I mean, look at this. Three games to go. Chelsea have a game in hand. They've got four. They win their game in hand. They take over Liverpool. And then they go into fifth. And then we're all even. At the moment, Liverpool are four points behind. Chelsea is five. So if they win their game in hand, they'll only be two points behind. And we've also got to play Arsenal before the end of the year. They're kind of out of the race now. There's no getting around it. They are out of the race. Um, at least to get third off of us. But just, oh my god, I can't believe this is happening. We've got to finish the season. Newcastle, Stoke and Arsenal. That last home game is going to be crucial. So what we're going to do, I'm going to play the Newcastle game off camera. And then we'll come back for the season finale, which will be away at the Bet365 or the Britannia. And then we'll have the home game against Arsenal to finish the season. And maybe, just maybe, Champions League football will be secured. We shall see. Thank you so much for watching the episode. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, then please do like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you come up for the season finale in the next episode, where hopefully we'll be securing some Champions League football in only our second season in the Premier League. Can you believe we've made it? I, I can't. Even if we get Europa League football, it's an incredible achievement. And have we peaked too early? And is it going to be a bit of a decline afterwards? We shall see. Thank you so much for watching. Until I see you in the season finale, stay cool. Come on, you Villa. Villa, Villa.